Hello my scrappy friends and welcome to my channel today. Um, I have a bit of a stash share for you. Now this sketch uh, is what I'm playing along with. It's one from um, Yana McCarthy. She's uh, She's been doing Sketch Saturday over on Instagram and I, I love playing along with sketches. I actually did this one a while ago. Uh, so you'll have to forgive me if I'm like, um, what am I doing? But uh, I was so inspired by it. Um, I have loved all of Yana's sketches. If you don't follow her already, I will make sure I leave a link um, in the description box below. Uh, but you can see here exactly what I'm doing. These are my India inks um, in all different colours. I can get you the colours if you would like to know the actual names of them. That's totally fine. But I don't have them with me right this second. Uh, and you can see what I'm doing here. So I wanted to go with a rainbow. And I've uh, I've got my pink there. I'm kind of going with more of a kind of pastel-ish kind of rainbow. I am making my orange. Obviously, I'm mixing pink and yellow together. Um, when I mix these colours up, they kind of became bubbly. So you can see that I'm having... You can see here I'm squishing the bubbles, or bursting the bubbles with my um, pipette tool. And I'm just adding little splashes of... Uh, the same color as well just cleaning out that pipette I think and then so um, R-O-Y-G-B-I-V yes I missed the violet um, so yellow is next you can see that big mess there in the middle I don't I'm like oh my gosh but I'm just gonna leave it and make the best of the situation that I can making my own green and you can see I'm also adding in uh, some white where I want to lighten the colour up. I also, so with this green I add a bit of that darker blue and I get more of kind of a gardeny green I guess it's called. And so you can see I've just added some white to lighten it up a bit. A bit more white because it's still a bit too olive-ish for me. And then I've got this more of a pastel colour green. And I'm literally, I'm holding my pipette up high and literally squeezing and moving it at the same time. Um, aqua is next. So the colours that I'm using straight from the bottle, I'm just using the little applicator that comes in the bottle. Um, I did make sure that I gave this a really good shake before I started applying colour. And then the last colour that I apply is not black. It looks black, but it is not. It is a really dark navy um, and I really, really love it. You can see that my splatters are kind of a bit more to the bottom right. Um, and there I'm showing you that orange yellow mess that I don't like. I've mixed up some more. Uh, I was just pointing out that I didn't like it, so I'm going to come up with a plan to cover it up. Mixing up some more orange because you can see there that most of the orange... Uh, has been covered by yellow. So I'm going to add some more orange. I've made this more of a pastel-y orange, whereas the first time it was kind of a bit more of a pumpkin-y orange. Yeah, we'll go with that. I've trimmed down my card stock, I think, at this point. Uh, top, the top and then the left. I'm working on some black card stock. And I'm just going to gut the centre of this out because I don't need it. I believe that I'm scrapbooking in my dressing gown or something. It doesn't seem right. Because I don't remember it being that long ago. That's that's right. I, um, I decided to gut the middle of this so that I could use the inside for the heart that I'm going to use. I was originally going to use this one here that I'm tracing. But it wasn't big enough for what I wanted to do. So you can see I've just traced the shape of that there. I'm going to fold it in half and I've cut it onto the back side. I've traced it onto the back side of the cardstock and I'm just using my scissors to trace around that shape. I wasn't particularly happy with it so I've just cut it down a bit more. It's not quite the shape that I want so I'm just going to play with it a little bit till I get it to where I want it. And so you can see um, in the sketch there's the two uh, two small photos up to the top like it's just above the center line um, with the big title and I wanted to include a heart love a love heart oh my goodness my kids 
my kids call them heart loves and they have done oh, for as long as we've had kids since it's, it's actually really cute uh and so i've kind of got into the habit of calling them heart loves as well uh, what i've got here is a whole bunch of black and white uh, pieces that i've pulled out from my stash this is definitely a stash busting layer and i really enjoyed it um, that's also part of why Yana is doing this series because um, you know we all have plenty of stash I'll end up using that transparency that is behind my photo at the moment it's like a grid one uh, with it's a it's a transparency with white grid lines on it uh, that mermaid hair don't care was actually from Annabelle when I was uh, when they when Anna's craft cover was around and I've had that for a while and finally I've got around to using it. I really love it. Mermaid hair, don't care. I'm like, I've got rainbow hair. I'm totally like going to scrapbook that. Uh, those little clips are from Freckled Fawn. Again, I've just pulled out black and white things. Uh, so you'll notice that I've positioned that mermaid hair, don't care acrylic piece so that there's no really strange gaps between letters or anything like that, which I really makes my heart happy. Uh, so you can see I'm kind of struggling here and then I'm like, what am I going to do here? So then I pulled out Chamel's, um, what is this collection called? I've gone blank. Um, this one with the mermaids and the dragons and stuff. Hmm. If I remember the name, I will let you know. Uh, but it's this one. And I'm like, when else am I going to use mermaids? I'm just going to stick them on this page. So, oh, head in the clouds. There we go. Head in the clouds. So I've got my two mermaids that I'm going to use there as well. I'm going to add some tissue paper behind my photo. Um, this photo was actually taken, if, um, if you have been around for a little while, you would have heard me in a couple of recent videos saying that I took myself away for a few days into the city uh, this photo was taken while I was there uh, I was trading to a friend I'm like yes I have rainbow hair again and they were like wait what so I took uh, this photo and I'm like yes I love my rainbow hair um, so yes so some tissue paper and some foam behind that I'm going to use this to add my very minuscule amount of journaling but it's still there layering my photo up Tucking my mermaids in. What am I doing? Oh, so I'm going to uh, kind of make this stand out a bit more. I've just got a white pen here. This is from Kiki K. Um, it's, I've used it so much I've run it out and I can't get another one at the moment. I've been looking for a couple of months. But I really like it. So I've just gone around the edge of that. What am I doing? Bring back my background here. You can see I have distressed the edges of that white card stock. And oh, this is in real time. I'm not sure why this bit's not speeded up. I'm sorry, and I'm trying to speed it up, and it will not let me press the buttons while I'm doing a voiceover. So I'll see what happens. Okay, so I stopped it and I sped it up. So I'm sorry, my voiceover is a tiny bit out at the moment. But I'm just adding a layer behind my photo and I thought, what better paper to use than holographic um, mermaid tail looking pattern paper. This is from uh, the same collection from the project pad sticking all my bits together I really love how this uh, how this page came together in the end it was super fun and I intend on playing with some more of the sketches by Yana they're super fun uh, they are released on Saturdays uh, and yeah I love Yana's style if you haven't seen it uh, definitely definitely check her out So you can see now I am mucking around with getting all my bits stuck. I'm going to start with sticking down my title. And you can see I'm making sure I've got it in just the right place. 
so that I don't, like I said, so I don't have any weird little gaps between my letters and that kind of thing. And what I want is for it to be uh, straight on with that uh, journaling card. But I think the journaling card gets tucked behind the heart. I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't. So I'm going to stick it down. Um, I think that I don't recall my whole process. I think something happened and you don't see me finish it up. But I do stick everything down that I've got. I and I did try to stick down a whole bunch of other stuff in like the pink with the pink, the yellow with the yellow, and then changed my mind. I was like, nope, don't like it. You can tell though, like with my two mermaids, they're kind of colour on, like tone on tone. Uh, but I go back in with a few enamel dots and some stars from the sticker pad. And that's pretty much me finished. I add in my journaling. Um, but you can see all that in the close-ups. So a stash video for me from me today. I hope you've enjoyed. Oh, I also did some uh, black stitching around the edge of that white cardstock. Um, you can see those enamel um, hearts there. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed. Like I said, I'll link everything in the description box below. Yana, thank you so much for your sketches. I'm really loving them, even though I haven't really shared much. Um, hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, please make sure you leave them below. Otherwise, stay safe and happy scrapping.